north side. Okay. All right, your people all cleared out, and you okay? Yeah, we're clear, we're ready to roll. South side, how you doing? We're 10-8. Hang on, we're doing some talking, and it looks as though we're doing some looking, and then we're ready in the middle. We're back in business, it's showtime. All right, let's go, let's get them, let's get them. Just let the kid go home with you? But I'm not on it, see? I just came here to... <laughs> you got an infant in the car with your wife in the car, and you buy dope from an undercover police officer. You are dumb. Please don't take a bitch, our ass. I swear. You swear what? Do you won't do it again? I promise. This is only like the second time I've done it. I moved down here. Come here, honey. How you doing, big guy? I'm not. You have my son. No, we don't. HRS. Nothing. HRS. Hey, let me tell you. Get the off of me, whoa, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're hurting my whoa. arm. Whoa. First, you have to You relax. guys are treating me like a pig. I am not a pig. All right. Take a couple deep breaths. You all set? Go ahead. Get diapers in that car. Why, Gary? Well, because it seems as though Stand by one. your kid's been changed. And the female detective we have over there. Stand by one. She has two about that age. It's going to be nice enough to clean your kid up for you. Look at this. Open containers of beer. You got a diaper can roll around the floor for about a day or two, I would say. It's it's beautiful. Around a motor world and a Marlboro. People are animals. Well, it's cleaner than the one I got in the front seat for, Mike. All right, dude. You got any powder? I guess there's too much to ask for powder and wipes, huh? Excuse me? You living in that car? No. Where you live? I live with my cousin. Where? On Dixie Highway. You living in that car, aren't you? No. All your stuff's in that car. He's scary. Yeah, well, I imagine he is. He asked for his mom. Hey, everything's all right. Let me just... I'm not used to changing strange diapers, okay? Back up a bird. You believe them? Yeah. Yeah, this is off here. And, uh... <laughs> Oh, well, that's not too bad. Not on my leather seats. What happened with the grandmother? Oh, she said she knows her daughter's got a crack cocaine problem. She keeps giving she the kids back to her. Oh, man, you doing this to me, man. Thank you. I ain't going to get my stuff, please. you get a nice crib tonight with lots of nice toys in it. I promise you. Hi, Christopher, honey. I know you're sleepy. Yes. Oh, what a biggest guy. Is this where I bring the kid? Hi. What's going on here? Pardon me? Yeah. Um, sheriff's office. Who called and they said, bring them here. Okay. Well, bring them in. He's just, he's just a film crew. Excuse me. Yes. Can I help you? Yes, I just... No cameras, please. I just arrested this boy's mother. No. No cameras, please. Okay, just turn it off in here. This little guy's going to be two at the end of this month. He was in the car seat in the back. I called the baby's grandmother from the scene, and she says, that, oh, yeah, she knows she's got a crack problem. She knows that she's got this baby with her. So I said, well, would you, would you come take the baby? And she said that she knew, but she's going to give it right back to her mother. She'll be out of jail tomorrow. All right, what we need you to do, you're going to have to call the abuse registry and call an abuse report. Okay. 
But where's he going to sleep? We will make arrangements. Okay. All we need is a report from the abuse registry. Okay. okay. You're not going to put him in that room. Please. You're not going to put that baby in that room with those two, are you? What? You're not going to put him in that room with them, are you? He's right there. A blanket or something they can put on him? Yeah. 